morning, everyone. And, you know, I was really surprised to read some of the statistics from the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration. Over 100 people are killed every day in car accidents, and sadly, it's the leading cause of death of young people. But they're not the only ones vulnerable, and no matter how old we are, we can all help make our roads a little safer. Most of us don't give driving a second thought. But to a teen driver about to get their driving permit, freedom, it's free. Driving is a big deal. Go places that I can't go to without having someone else drive me to. On the other end of the spectrum, elderly drivers. That you reach a point that you have to accept that you need some help and try, you know, to uh, give it up. The California Highway Patrol says when it comes to driving, teens and seniors have a lot in common. Teens and senior drivers crash at a higher rate than the other age groups. According to the Centers for Disease Control, 16 to 19 year olds are three times more likely to be in a fatal crash. Lillian Castro says she sees her peers make some risky choices. Some of the things I see in like teen drivers is pretty much being on their phones. And every mile a senior drives after the age of 70, the more likely they'll be involved in a fatal crash. Anne Marie says she recognizes her limitations. At night I don't dare to drive because I get disoriented. But let's face it, we all have to share the road and many of us contribute to the staggering death toll on our roads every year. You can always become a better driver even at an older age. With that in mind, I went to the pros, the BMW Performance Driving School in Thermal. Uh, so we have over a mile of track here, over five acres. We train on emergency maneuvers and defensive driving. I drive about 400 miles a day, so I didn't think they could teach me much. Apparently, most of us don't even know how to sit inside a car. Wow, I never knew that. Lesson one, knowing how to use your anti-lock brakes will save your life. Stomp on the brakes Stomp. as hard as you can. Stay on the brakes until you're stopped. Stomp, stay. Stay, no, no pumping the brake pedal. Hard as you can, hold them until you're stopped, and then steer when necessary. The key to avoiding obstacles on the road, look where you want to go not at what you want to avoid. <laughs> so what happened there, KD, is you went to the brakes really hard, but you panicked with your vision and looked straight ahead at the cones. Eventually, I got the idea. Excellent job, KD. Now, for something we all fear, losing control in the rain or hydroplaning. Here, they have a special track where the car is guaranteed to slip and slide, but they have a secret to regaining control. It's called CPR. Uh, correct, pause, and recover. The car comes out, I correct to the outside, pause, hold the correction, and then as it regains grip, unwind the wheel back to original steering position. Now, my turn. Uh, pause, steer right, steer right, a lot, just left. Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it, we almost got it. Off the gas, steer right. But the more I did it, the better I got. Yeah, there you go, nice, very good. Look at you. Bottom line, Driving is a privilege. You have to realize that uh, we have uh, a duty to our society. And if we all take a little time to improve our driving skills and be courtous. No courtesy. No courtesy. And uh, they give you the finger and I didn't even know what it meant. The roads will be a little safer. Stop thinking about other things. Concentrate, you know, on the road. Great advice from Stavros there. Now, coming up at 6.40, I'll have a sit down with Adam Seaman, who you just saw in my story. He's the lead instructor at the BMW Performance Center, and he has a few more things to say about staying safe on the road. Thalia, that was unbelievable. After going through that experience, do you have like a different perspective on driving? You know, I have to say, I think I'm... I'm a little more scared <laughs> to be on that the road. That makes sense. Yes, there's so many hazards and there's so many things that, I mean, as you saw there in my story, I didn't even know how to sit down correctly in the seat. Right. So I'm almost having to relearn how to sit and how to position my hands and feet. And it's, you know, the habits that we learn, they're not easy to unlearn. So it's right. a good idea to go there when you're young. <laughs> when you're give young. it a try. Yes. Well, and then to think about all the other distractions, like people are on their phones, and, and you, you add that on top of just being the basics of getting it right. It's, it's 
scary. It is scary. So everyone, we could do something a little different and something a little better. Maybe just be a little more courteous, slow down, and maybe just not be as distracted. And I think even that alone will help a lot. Help. All right. We look forward to hearing from your expert. Thank you, Kitty. Thanks, Thalia. It is 13 past the hour. And coming up next, Golden Boy Oscar Day.